What's up everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your boy Chili Gains. In this video, I'm going to be speaking directly to beginner to intermediate level lifters. And I want to give you guys some advice in terms of how you should have your mentality and framework of going to the gym and continuing training at the gym as well. So as a beginner or intermediate level lifter, you've been going to the gym for a while, you've got a little bit of momentum going now, you've got a group of people that you can go with that push you. Problem arises when you start to maybe get little niggles, you start to get injured, or for whatever reason you miss a week of training. A lot of beginners or intermediate level lifters at this stage, they will start to feel very, very anxious. Some of them might even start feeling a little bit depressed because they haven't been to the gym. You might have a shoulder niggle, for example, and because of that, you're not able to train as hard. You're not able to do the lifts that you want to do, or you might, you might even be tempted to go to the gym and perform those movements. What I'd like to let you guys know is you don't need to go to the gym when you're injured. You don't need to push and do pressing exercises when you've got a bad shoulder. You don't need to go to the gym and kill yourself when you need a break. You're allowed to take a little bit of time off. I see this all too often with people that go to the gym all the time that are beginners and they, they don't want to take a break. They're there six days a week. They've got a shoulder problem. That shoulder problem is never going away because they're always at the gym every single day pressing. So it's not going anywhere. And I thought I'd do this video as an advanced lifter, I've had moments and lapses in training. Not too long, admittedly, but I've had obviously injuries in the past. We've had to take a week off, two weeks off. You will get your gains back. Something obviously everyone's heard of muscle memory. Because you're an advanced lifter, you're able to know one, how to perform the form correctly, the number of reps you need to do, the correct exercises to be doing. You're able to manage fatigue a little bit better. Um, and you're able to kind of get back into the swing of things it takes like maybe three weeks four weeks for me to really get back into the swing of things no time really you're gonna get back fast so if you're a beginner you need time off you've got that ache or niggle that's been hurting for a while or you've been on holiday just relax you're not losing your gains come back create a structure create a periodized training regimen meaning have moments of progressive overload have a rest, go for maybe a, a, a max, recover, kind of make sure that you're having a period of strain. As long as you've got a good structure, you're performing exercises with the right form and you're being consistent, you will get the muscles back. There's no point of getting injured. Just take your rest, take your recovery time. If you're injured, work on cardio. If you've got hurt your, your shoulder, do box jumps, work on legs, work on explosiveness, work on agility. Another another thing I was going to speak about in one of my videos is there's no I don't see the point of going to the gym if you're not gonna be athletic in the gym. If you're only the person that goes and just does bodybuilding all the time or powerlifting all the time, that's not very functional. We're built to be athletes, we're built to be hunter gatherers, so run around, jump, be able to change direction without um tearing tearing a ligament or, or, or popping out a meniscus. We're able to we need to be able to be agile, move, explosive. That's why you see me doing things like box jumps. I do, I've done powerlifting, I've done a bit of bodybuilding. I would actually like to get back to doing sprints because that's something I used to do when I was younger. Our body needs to be filled with athleticism. A bit of cardio as well. Admittedly, I didn't do enough cardio, but even doing things like boxing and moving, being able to coordinate my body is something that all of you should be striving to perform and do on a regular basis. So if something's wrong with your, your ankle, walk on your upper limb, walk on muscle ups, do some pull ups. If something's wrong with your shoulder, do some box jumps, walk on your legs, get your legs to grow, walk on your calves, get, get a better 5k run or run time. There's so many different things that you can play around with. So if you need to rest, rest. If something's injured, walk on something else. I thought I'd give that little review to everyone because I know there's a lot of people that have the pressure of I need to be this size, I need to be at the gym. Massive part of it is body dysmorphia and I think growing up and getting older, I've begun to more easily disassociate my identity with how I look like at the gym. When I was a bit younger, I need I needed if I'm like above or below a certain weight, I'm like, nah, this is victim weight. I can't be on, I can't be here. Like right now, I'm sitting at what I would have called victim weight back then like an 85 kg, which is still like a reasonable size for, for my height. Then I'm like, no, I need to be at least 90, 90 to 92, 90 to 95 kg to feel, to feel good, to feel like a man, to feel like I'm strong. You don't need that. What you need is to build self-confidence at the gym. Your body needs to feel good. Your mind needs to feel good. You, you can't have your identity just be in gym. That being said, I know I preach a lot about intensity, still train intensely, but if life circumstances get in the way, if you're injured, if you do need to take a bit of time off, don't have that pressure on yourself and also diversify your training as well if you got some value out of this video on your thoughts of every, on everything i've said leave a comment down below also on your thoughts of everything i've said on this video if you're new to the channel welcome subscribe to the channel for more weekly content like the one i've just delivered today and i'll meet you guys in the next video